Hello and welcome to the first edition of Mead Week for 2016. I'm Brian Spann. On this first show, we introduce you to a new way of reaching us here at Public Affairs. The 2016 calendars are in. We have a Facebook town hall meeting coming up, plus a couple of notes from MWR. These stories and more, but first, we have a new way of requesting Public Affairs support or answering your questions. It's our new Public Affairs Press Center. You can access the Press Center through Fort Meade's homepage. Chief of Media Relations Mary Doyle says it's both for media professionals and for the public at large. The Fort Meade Press Center primarily is for the media, external media, to find out what's going on on Fort Meade and a way for us to communicate directly with them. They can use it to ask us questions and they can use it to you know, search for stories that they might need to do for their, for their own publications. The other use, and that's really helpful for um, residents and people who live on Fort Meade or work on Fort Meade, is to use it to ask us questions. Um, maybe you have an event that you would like to put in the Sound Off newspaper, or perhaps you uh, have a good story idea that you want us to cover. You can go to the Press Center, which is directly from the Fort Meade website, and just click on Press Center. Um, and it'll take you to a, a website that has not only information that the media might be interested in, but also some events and things like that that, that um, the public might be interested in. And then once you get to what the main page, you can click on Contact Us and provide information if you're a community member or um, your media and just let us know what it is you would like us to cover um, by filling out the blanks and, um, and that way we can get in touch with you, uh, we can keep track of all the requests that we have coming in and it's just a very handy tool to use to get our, um, our help. Another couple of notes for Public Affairs. First, our 2016 calendars are in. They're full of great shots of Fort Meade. You can pick one up here at the Public Affairs Office on Llewellyn Avenue, or if you need a whole bunch of them, give us a call at 301-677-1361. Meanwhile, we're hosting another Facebook Town Hall meeting on Thursday, January 21st from 4 to 6 p.m. It's your opportunity to pose questions and concerns to the Fort Meade Garrison Commander, Colonel Brian Foley, and his staff. Once again, our next Facebook Town Hall meeting is January 21st, starting at 4 o'clock. Time for a couple of reminders from MWR. CYSS Youth Sports Spring Registration is underway. Spring sports include baseball, softball, soccer, lacrosse, tennis, NFL flag football, and track. According to youth sports officials, early sign-up is important. That's the way Fort Meade gauges its participation in local youth sports leagues. For more information, call 301-677-1179. Another note from MWR, Gaffney Indoor Pool is closed until further notice for maintenance. MWR officials apologize for any inconvenience. And one final sporting note from Better Opportunities for Single Service Members or BOSS. They're taking their annual ski trip February 26th through the 28th at the Four Seasons Resort in Massanutan, Virginia. Contact your unit BOSS representative for more information. One final note, we close our show with a message from Army Emergency Relief. Last year, Army Emergency Relief Scholarship Programs provided more than $9 million to Army children and spouses. Well, the program's starting up again. Here's more from Army Emergency Relief. Until next time, for everyone at Fort Meade Public Affairs, I'm Brian Spann. Have a great Mead Week. Both my parents were in the Army. I'm studying psychology and I want to become a psychologist. She will be the first one, you know, in our family that will graduate from college. AER has kind of helped to make that happen. Oh, when I got the letter in the mail that I'd gotten the scholarship, I was very excited for one, and then I saw the amount of money that it was, and it just blew my mind. I was like, wow. <laughs> It's nice to know that people actually take interest in what I'm trying to do with my life and care enough to finance it for me when I can't. It's an awesome feeling. AER has been a blessing. Because of the AER scholarship, she was able to start her college education. To see it start and to see it finish. AER, it made the journey possible. <laughs>